On this Debaco University video, I'm going to go over main nutrient categories, which are important when we're looking at fertilizing our plants. All right, let's get into the main nutrient categories so we can be able to understand each of these three important categories. So the first category is gonna be macronutrients. So they are needed in large amounts, and that's why I have the picture of the elephant here. They also might be referred to as primary nutrients. These are typically the nutrients that plants show sign of lacking first as they are needed in large or macro amounts. These are also the big three numbers that are printed, you'll see on fertilizer labels. And those three numbers that you always see are referring to nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, the NPK ratio there. And all three of these are actually mobile nutrients, which is important when we might be looking at diagnosing potential deficiencies or issues. These are mobile nutrients within the plant. That's our first category, the macronutrients. Proceeding on from macronutrients, we then go to secondary nutrients. And these are needed uh, to less of extent from fertilizers in most cases and for most plants. They're often added in other products such as lime or organic matter. So keep that in mind that these secondary nutrients, uh, we might be wondering what these secondary nutrients are. Well, they're typically magnesium, calcium, and sulfur are those secondary needed, but to a lesser extent than those macronutrients. That leads us also to our micronutrients. And micronutrients are essential for plant survival. So I want you to realize that, that they are essential, but they're only needed in small micro quantities. So it can sometimes be referred to as trace elements. And these are immobile, except chlorine is the only exception um, to this. So boron, copper, iron, chlorine, manganese, MN, molybdenum, as well as zinc are uh, nutrients that fall into the micronutrient category. They're needed, but needed in small amounts. Then we get to, well, lastly here, talking about the micronutrients, uh, common deficiencies include zinc, iron, manganese, and copper. However, be aware that it's also easy to get to toxic levels if you are to add these, it can often be worse situation compared to if you had a deficiency. So just remember that, that we don't wanna necessarily be fertilizing for our micronutrients. If we are seeing a potential for a micronutrient deficiency, by all means, yes, but keep in mind that they're needed in such small amounts, you are gonna be measuring them in very small, and should be dosing them in very small amounts. I see a lot of growers often over add micronutrients and that can lead to toxic levels in the plants which can cause more harm than good. So this understands the major categories of your nutrients.